2,500 pages in 15 minutes. Let's go. Hey internet, I'm Steve. Welcome to Raffo. Rhythm of War, the fourth novel in Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archive, is about to be released! For those of you who weren't able to complete your biannual reread of the entire Cosmere, these two videos are a chapter-by-chapter -chapter recap of what's happened on Roshar to bring you up to speed. Massive spoilers for Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, Edge Dancer, and Oathbringer in the next one. So, once upon a time, the Oath Pact was abandoned, and Tal got screwed over for four and a half thousand years. Jumping ahead, King Gavilar of Alethkar just signed a peace treaty with the Parshendi. Zeth's son Son Valano, truthless of Shinovar, was wearing white. He storms through the palace, kills the king, writes some words in blood, and takes a weird black sphere. Five years later, Kaladin's a squad leader, but then he's a slave headed to the Shattered Plains with an annoying windspread following him. Shallan catches up to Yasna and sees her use her soul caster, which she wants to steal, but first she's gotta become her ward. Yeah, right. Kaladin meets a new friend named Gaz and goes on his first bridge run. Then everyone dies. He gets real sad, but then gets happy when Syl gives him a leaf. Demo, Galadon, and Bayon are in Pure Lake looking for Hoyd. Dalinar might be going crazy. Crazy amazing! While well, he's punching a chasm fiend in the face, Elokar falls off his horse and says someone did it on purpose. Kaladin tries to clean up the bridge crew, but they don't wanna. We find out he was good at thwacking people with sticks when he was growing up, but his dad wanted him to sew people up instead. They go on another bridge run, and Kaladin stays in front. He starts to put those surgeoning skills to work on the bridgeman, and notices his newly infused spheres have gone done. Weird. Date Adolin is not a good Adolin. Nice to meet me. He finds out the leather strap could have been cut, but probably not. Dalinar tells Elokar that war is dumb, and then a high storm hits. All of a sudden, he's back in time fighting scary smoke bags. Knights Radiant show up and win, then Honor tells him to unite them and maybe trust Sadius or something. He wakes up and all the soldiers that were watching are like, whoa. Sadius gets made High Prince of Information and everyone's like, whoa. Then they go on a plateau run and the thrill sucks and Dalinar is like, whoa. Kaladin keeps fighting off depression and finds out bridgemen who can't run don't get paid. Then they go pull and milk some weeds and Rock explains the various culinary uses of chul dung. Chasm duty. Kaladin shows off with a spear and Rock crooks his first stoop. Dalinar digs a latrine and decides to abdicate. Risen gets a pot of dumb grass. Axes destroys half a city and sees some new spread. Zeth gets back to his nobility assassinating roots. Back to Shallan. She's being a good little student but accidentally draws some weird things. Kaladin finally gets everyone to practice carrying and immediately suggests side carry. Bridge 4 tries it and royally screws things up for everyone. Kapsal shows Shallan some pretty sand panders. Kaladin gets tied up and rained on. Shallan and Yasna go for a walk and have an applied philosophy lesson. She finally steals the soul caster but can't figure out how to use it, and proceeds to be confused about that for several more chapters. Cal remembers a dinner with Rashon and finds out his dad isn't quite as spotless as he thought. Syl fighting off death spren is awesome. Teft starts Kaladin on a steady diet of stormlight, and he starts to get better physically, but backslides hard emotionally. We then see the aftermath of Rashon and his son fighting with a white spine. Some people just need to be removed. The bridgemen get assigned to permanent chasm duty, and Kaladin decides to train them as spearmen except Rock. Remember that time Roshon was petty and vindictive and the absolute worst? Yeah, so does Kaladin. Tien got drafted and Cal went with. I volunteer as tribute! Meanwhile, Shallan figures out that Yasna is studying the Voidbringers, meets Pattern, accidentally soul casts, and covers it up with a suicide attempt. Kaladin dreams of riding the High Storm, and Shen joins the party. We see Chapter 1 from Kaladin's perspective, plus the epic fight where he kills Shallan's brother. Oh. Spoilers. And then Amaram is the worst. Shallan's in the hospital, Yasna's nice for once, Kapsal brings bread, and then dies. Yasna does some fancy blood work after finding out her soul caster is broken. Bye bye, wardship. Ash busts up a statue, and we hear about the old magic. Two random ardents study Spren. Zeth murders a whole bunch of people. Dalinar sees the recreants at Feverstone Keep. Sadius proclaims Dalinar's innocence in Elokar's assassination attempt, and Wit says some gibbletish. The Dalinar Sadius super friend team up works great until it doesn't. Dalinar saves Sadius's sorry, worthless, creme covered life. Kaladin discovers his powers and freaks out. Wit tells him the story of the Wander Sail and gives him a flute. They get assigned to permanent bridge duty with chasm duty at night. So Kaladin climbs up a wall and ties a bag of armor under a bridge. Dalinar decides not to abdicate and has a vision of Noadon. Navani finds out he's speaking the Dawn chant. They kiss. Kaladin tries his armor on a bridge run and makes the Parshendi real mad. 
then Dalinar comes and saves their butts. They make more armor. The tower. Dalinar Sadius team up number three, except Sadius is a garbage human. Bridge four is down in numbers, so they can't follow when Kremstein retreats. But rather than taking the chance to escape, they go back. Dalinar and Adolin are nearly overwhelmed. Kaladin draws an entire volley of arrows into his shield using a huge amount of stormlight, then leaps across the chasm and says the second ideal, and fights the Parshendi alone while his men place the bridge. Adolin and most of the remaining army make their way toward the bridge. Kaladin fights his way to Dalinar, who's been fighting with Eshenai, disables her with a spear to the leg, then gets him safely on Gallant. Sadius makes it back to the war camp, and Navani paints a prayer for justice. Then, Dalinar shows up. And in one of the most impactful moments in all of fiction, Dalinar gives up his shard blade for the bridgeman. Speaking of impactful, he then goes and beats up Elokar, who admits to cutting the saddle strap himself. Dalinar tells him to make him High Prince of War, and, oh, by the way, I'm dating your mom. Back to Shallan. She deduces that Yasna never had a working soulcaster, and tries to prove it by soulcasting herself. Yasna pulls her out of Shadesmar and decides to keep her. Together, they discover that the Voidbringers are actually the Parchman. <laughs> Zeth goes to kill Teravangian, but gets a new assignment. Dalinar makes bridge for his honor guard, then sees honor in a vision, who announces that he's been killed by Odium. Wit welcomes Talon back to Roshar, and that's the way of kings! Words of Radiance. We jump back to the night of Gavilar's assassination, this time from Yasna's perspective. She sees her shadow go the wrong way, meets some ink spren, and falls in and out of Shadesmar. Surprisingly unflustered by this, she heads to a meeting where we learn of her suspicion towards Elokar's wife. She sees Nail and Kalak and watches her dad die. Back in the present, Yasna and Shallan are on a boat. Pattern shows up for the first time. Shallan sees the Santhid and finds out she's betrothed. Captain Kaladin and the rest of the bridgemen get matching tats and outfits and start training other bridge crews. Dalinar has a vision in the Pure Lake, and the mysterious countdown begins. Shallan keeps studying Pattern, but then Fit hits the Shan. Yasna gets stabbed. Shallan soul casts the ship into water, and the Santhid nabs her. She remembers the whole killing her mother thing. We then meet the most powerful entity in the Cosmere, the Stick. Shallan is no match for the Stick. After wandering around for a bit, she joins up with Tavlakov. While Teft is training other bridge crews in the chasms, Kaladin tests his new abilities by beating people up and sticking them together. Eshenai shows us Narek and the Parshendi efforts to draw new Spren. Venli tells her about Stormform. Im makes some shoes, heals some feet, and ends his experience. Risen meets the Reshi, and jumps off a cliff. Adolin starts dueling. Amaram arrives at the Shattered Plains. Kaladin meets Zahel, who tells Renarin to jump off a roof. Shallan and company gets chased by bandits, but she recruits them to fight other, more different bandits. Tin offers to help with her con. Kaladin tells Dalinar about Amaram who tells him to chill. Elokar almost falls off the balcony, and Kaladin has to figure out why. Also, he hates horses. Eshenai talks with Adolin, asking for a parlay. Parlay? Shallan meets Kaladin and steals his boots. I am a fend. Zeth shows up at the palace and chops Kaladin's arm. Then Dalinar pulls off a last clap, and Cal tackles Zeth out the window. He lands safely with Stormlight, then oomphs his arm back. Zeth freaks out. Heck, I did too when I read it. And runs away. Shallan finds out that Tin was responsible for the attack on Yasna, so she stabs her and takes her place within the Ghostbloods. Eshenai bonds a storm spren and has a bad time. Shallan makes it to the war camps and interrupts a meeting about Zeth. She manipulates her way into Sabariel's estate and pardons all the bandits. Shallan remembers getting a necklace from her father, and then that heterochromatic guy showed up. Kaladin and the Bridgemen train in the chasms, and we see Cal start to drift from the whole protecting thing he's supposed to be doing. Renarin joins the motley of Bridge 4. Shallan creates Vale, meets Mraze, and gets an assignment to spy on Amaram. Kaladin starts training against a shard blade with Zahel, earning Adolin's respect, and Moash basically admits to involvement with the whole railing thing, because Elokar indirectly caused his grandparents to die. Shallan remembers fixing her family at a fair and meeting an allomantic wit. Shen gets a spear, the Bridgemen go drinking, and Rock talks about meeting Hoyd. Cal Kaladin and Moash meet with Graves. Adolin, dressed as Dalinar, meets with Stormform Eshenai, which doesn't go well. They're gonna attack during the weeping. Kaladin learns how to fly in the chasms. Shallan breaks into Amaram's room. Adolin duels perfectly, then agrees to a disadvantaged fight. Dummy. Shallan meets Moraes out in the hills and hides in a boulder. Kaladin third wheels on a date to the zoo, and Amaram becomes the first refounded Knight Radiant. Adolin's duel. 4v1. Fight. Renarin comes in. Then, Honor is dead but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Epic fight. So good. They win. Adolin asks to duel Sadius then and there. And for my boon... 
Lyft infiltrates a palace, steals some food, heals her pal, gets pardoned, and escapes Nail. Busy interlude. Eshenai basically leads a coup. Wit visits Kaladin in prison and tells him about Fleet, if ever I get a tattoo. Cal keeps moping in his cell for a few more chapters. Shallan teams up with our southern Skadrian friend Ayatil and goes to peek at Talm. Amaram shows up, then leaves looking for a cache of shard blades. Shallan gets fully accepted as a ghost blood. Kaladin finally gets released, becomes pals with Adolin, gives a set of shards to Moash, and decides to kill the king. Dalinar goes to a feast where everyone is making fun of his visions, and then he owns it! Shallan and Kaladin fall into a chasm and get chased by a chasm fiend, then wander around bonding and making a map. Chasm fiend comes back, and Shallan gives Kaladin her shard blade, which he uses to stab it in the head. She cuts a cubby hole above the waterline where they shelter during the high storm. We see Shallan kill her father. Storms. She smiled anyway. They make it out of the chasms with the gem heart of that chasm fiend, and Dalinar wonders if they're radiant. According to Kaladin, not anymore. In other news, Kolinar descends into riots. Eshenai's angsty, and Teravangian becomes king of Yakovet. Most of the Alethi are departing for the plains. Busted up Kaladin goes down to see them off, and Dalinar brings him to confront Amaram, who admits his jerkdom and runs away. Cal continues his customary moping, and Moash comes and tells him the assassination plan. Back on the plains, Shallan shows Dalinar her skills, and Relaine, aka Shen, comes back. He tells Dalinar about the new Parshendi form, and chills with Bridge 4. Elokar comes and vents to Kaladin, making us like him a bit more. The Parshendi on the plains start singing. The Alethi armies don't do well against lightning. Sureblood gets hit. Shallan finds the Oath Gate, and Renarin comes along for the ride. Kaladin collects a drunk Elokar, and they both get stabbed for their trouble. Moash and Graves show up. Adolin cuts through an ancient building to kill some singers, then starts to fight with Eshenai. She falls into the chasm, while Scar and Drehi start their habit of saving nobility. Shallan and Renarin struggle with a keyhole. Kaladin says some words and gets a sword. Zeth arrives on the plains. Between two encroaching storms, Dalinar fights and gets tossed into the air. Adolin picks up the fight and breaks his wrist. Then Dalinar floats safely to the ground, followed by a powered-up Kaladin. Zeth, again, understandably, freaks out, and we see a super cool sky battle with a Sil Spear and lightning, and Shallan gets the Oathgate working with her pattern blade, and BAM! They found Erythiru! Zeth finally acknowledges that the Radiants are back, so he should never have been truthless, then gives up, and Kaladin doesn't kill him, but grabs his honor blade. Some bridge boys bring the Oathgate back, where Kaladin learns some of them have started glowing too, including the Lopin. Moash and Graves sneak out of the war camps. Shallan meets Moraes while exploring Erythiru, then acknowledges that she killed her mother in self-defense as a child. Amaram smuggles out Talm. Zeth gets rescued by Nail and hears the voice of a black-bladed sword in his head. Hello. Would you like to destroy some evil today? Dalinar potentially dreams of the god beyond. Adolin finds Sadius in Erythiru, and they have a confrontation. Daddy's blade goes out the window. Meanwhile, Dalinar forces the Stormfather to bond with him, and the Collected Knights Radiant, including Renarin, meet together for the first time. They've got work to do. Also, Wit meets Yasna on her way back. Whew! There's words of Radiance! Quick jump over to Edge Dancer, and then we'll be back with the main cast in the next video. Yada is a city in Azir, cut out of the starving ground, lifts there for pancakes. Riding an avalanche of grain into the street slots, she meets a crazy guy outside an orphanage, and gets followed by Nail, who stabs a girl for stealing fruit. She follows him for a bit and sees Zeth, then heads back to the orphanage where a little boy who had brain damage yesterday doesn't anymore. Then, looking for the Radiant that Nail is looking for, she steals some clothes and heads to the library. Understandably, the librarians don't think she's supposed to be there, so she texts the King of Azir, who recruits them to her cause. After a whole lot of nothing, Stump is trading for infused spheres, she wanders off and finds Zeth and the two Skybreaker newbies, who go off to kill the suspected Radiant. Maybe a Lightweaver? Lyft speeds off to go protect the crazy guy by the orphanage. Oh gosh, it's a sleepless! Back inside, Nail's here! They go up to the roof, where Lyft says her next ideal and gets a windle rod. She points out the glowing eyes of the parchment outside the city, and Nail crumples in failure. Lyft gives him a hug. It's actually very sweet. Later, she gets a pile of pancakes to eat with a shard fork, helps the stump realize her own radiance, and then runs away. She uses all her awesomeness, healing refugees coming into the city, and then heads back to Azir, and learns that the tenth pancake was inside her all along. Or something. There's the first two books plus novella! If you need a review of Oathbringer, click here. If not, subscribe! Otherwise, read and find out!